I'd say the best part of my internship is being able to interact with the experts here at CNS to conduct our independent research. It's rare that in, in, that in an internship capacity you get the chance to primarily engage in independent research with a team kind of backing you up with their knowledge. So while we're here, we could go to pretty much anyone who is almost an open door policy and ask them their advice for what to do and how we can progress from here on our projects. Uh, for instance, I was able to go into a person who was an expert at network analysis, not something you might expect at a nuclear weapons think tank, but uh, they have someone here and he guided me through the whole process to create network maps and stuff for my project, um, which was extremely helpful and probably couldn't have finished the project without him. Another example would just be the lectures we get every day from these experts. You Sometimes an idea is stimulated just by hearing um, an offhand comment that they make about some topic and you go down that road to research it and it'll be fruitful for something that you couldn't even imagine. I chose this internship as opposed to uh, some other ones I was offered because I really wanted to dive into the topic of nuclear weapons. I come from a, a school that has a pretty strong um, background in studying nuclear weapons and it's uh, I knew coming here I would be able to explore that topic even more deeply. So I had taken a couple classes in nuclear history and nuclear strategy, but coming here, instead of talking about it twice a week, we talked about it five days a week with some of the best experts in the field, and frankly I could get into such a fascinating topic that in many ways that people don't understand defines the international relations field today uh, in terms of why there hasn't been a major power conflict or why there, the next one will be the end of the world, but uh, either way they're vastly important. My main responsibilities were actually primarily to conduct independent research, which was the best part of this internship. We would, about 50% of the time, be helping the experts with some project they had, either studying a specific field and giving them information on it so they could build on that, or to update some glossaries we keep here for researchers to work from um, so they have information available. But then the other time, um, we would be able to just sit down and work on any project that we wanted to and I was able to develop a project here that um, studied social network, um, the interaction of social networks and nonproliferation. I learned through this program that nonproliferation issues extend far further than one might assume offhand. There's so many intersecting topics in nonproliferation that Frankly, anyone coming from any background could find a place in the field. For instance, we had a lecture on maritime export controls and nuclear weapons, and one might not think there is a place for financial lawyers in the nonproliferation field, but it's actually essential to be able to trace uh, the money flow of these illegal shipments and how proliferation happens. Illegal shipments are made against sanctions to countries that want to develop nuclear weapons, and the only way to prevent that is to figure out where that money's coming from and how sanctions are being violated. Well, I'd recommend this program to others in that you don't have to necessarily be interested in nuclear weapons or even have a strong background in nonproliferation. If you're committed to research about security or the intersection of security and technology, come to this internship because I think you'll learn a lot more than one would expect offhand. Um, we went into topics as deep as Al-Qaeda's motivation to develop chemical weapons, which you n might not think you'll get here, but so uh, even if you're a terrorism studies person, even if you're a financial person, come here, you'll get a background in something that you'd never expect, and it gives you a strong basis in research as well for going forward in any field, because in any field they're going to value the ability to do research on a very deep level. Mm -hmm.